All right, what is going on, guys? It's Nick DePlans, and I'm back, and I am here with my first NBA 2K22 video. Now, normally I post my team. That's not what this is. This is going to be the demigod build. And if you guys are looking forward to more 2K content, make sure to go hit that subscribe button. We hit our goal in 50 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I really appreciate it. Now the goal is 200. So if you are new, make sure to hit that sub button and turn on uh, post notifications so you never miss a future upload. Expect a lot of 2K content in the coming months. Um, always at the beginning cycle of 2K, I tend to split my time between my career and my team. So maybe at the end of the week, after I've made some more progress in my team, because I've only played maybe two games of my team so far. Uh, I had a really busy weekend with work, school, and uh, this, this weekend was Penn State's first uh, home game. So that's where I spent the majority of my day Saturday. But without further ado, Let's just jump right into the build. So you're going to want to go power forward, your your uh, head hand, uh, handedness, uh, whether you're righty, lefty, do whatever you want, jersey number again, that doesn't matter as well. Then over here at body settings, you want to go with 6'8", 210 pounds, 6'11", wingspan, then I went with Saudi, Saudi, solid body shape. Um, now you can see on the side over here, on the right, you do lose a good bit in defense and rebounding, but I, I really... I personally don't mind because with that body type, you also end up getting a bit with, um, or not body type, with that wingspan, you get a bit with three pointer, you get a bit with ball handling as well. Strength, I'm not really worried about that, to be honest with you. That's why it's pretty low. But everything else, the build is like solid. It, like, so, he, he's, he's solid enough. So, we're going to hit continue. And then over here, where you actually do the stats, I go 62 close shot because honestly, that doesn't matter that much. Driving layup, as long as you time your shit fine, you have badges are gonna be fine. Driving dunk 86, just cause why not. Uh, down here with mid range, I went 87. Um, 3.185 free throw, you really don't need that high of a free throw to be honest, to hit shots, as long as you're timing them, you're fine. So I went with a 62 there, so I'd at least be able to hit some. Pass accuracy, I don't believe is a stat that matters too much. I went with 90, though, just because I wanted to get a little bit more playmaking badges. Ball handle of 82, nothing crazy, nothing too low either. Uh, speed with the ball, 72, not bad. Interior defense is 78. Perimeter defense, 85. Steel, 80. Block, 75. Offensive rebound, uh, 81. Defensive rebound, 86. And then in the physicals, I went with 77 speed, 75 acceleration, 53 strength, 70 vertical and stamina of 99 and you end up with let me see here 14 finishing 29 um shooting 25 playmaking and 26 um defense slash rebounding so put that all together and this badge or this badge this build gives you a grand total of 94 badges you can get 94 badges like that's just too good that's too good. So that's the build I ended up going with. And then when it comes to the takeover for the build, I went with uh, spot up precision and limitless range. You definitely, depending upon your play style and if you want what you like to do, you could definitely do perimeter badge drop, extreme clamps. I personally wouldn't go with the playmaking ones. I'd either go with... Um, I'd basically do anything except for playmaking here. But you definitely want to make sure you have... Um, you definitely want to make sure you have um, the sharpshooter takeovers as your two. That That's the two I would definitely recommend, or at least one of them, I should say. Those are definitely the two I recommend. Uh, if you're going to go with one of them, I almost feel like doing the limitless range one is probably the best one. Unless you're more of a catch-and-shoot guy, like you're not your team's number one option, definitely go with spot of precision. That's why I went with that. So once you hit finish on the build, oop, once you hit finish on the build... It'll take you to this screen here, and you get a two-way stretch playmaker. Shades of Jason Tatum, Chris Webber, and Kevin Durant. I mean, come on now. I mean, come on now. Just, just those three names to have your player based around alone is going to be phenomenal. Um, right now, my player is actually only at... Let me just spam my way back out of here. I'm at... The, yeah, I ended up going number one overall to the Pistons. I'll show you guys some of the badges and stuff I've accomplished so far for my um, for my uh, actual my career. So, so far, I'm a 79. I haven't spent any VC other than the pre-order bonus VC. I um, haven't really had much of a chance to play the game too, too much, like I said, because of work and school. But overall, not too bad so far. Not too bad so far. Um, Badges-wise, again, it's going to take a little bit longer for these. Um, oh wait, I never put on my finishing badge. 
I never realized that. Okay, well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go with Slithery Finisher for now. I thought... Oh, wait, no. I thought that I had put a badge on there. I guess I didn't. All right, so for finishing, we have Slithery Finisher. Shooting, I have Silver Limitless Spot Up and Bronze Catch and Shoot as of right now. Playmaking, I have Bronze Unpluckable and blon Bronze. Bronze Quick First Step. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I give myself... Oh, uh, okay, I see what it's saying. Never mind. Okay, so back to Unpluckable. Then on defense here, I have Silver Pick Dodger and Bronze Clamps as of right now. Nothing too crazy, but we're making progress, and that's all that really matters. Like I said, this build, you can get such a high variety of badges. It, it, it's like, I feel like this is just a no-brainer build if you're a player like I am. Uh, how? Oh, and also, new thing here for the build, Perks. You're going to be able to earn takeover perks that sh that could also boost your shit. Like the one that I have equipped right here is called Extender. It extends the length of time the takeover stays active. I also have Juice, which gives an extra boost to your attributes when takeover is activated. I might activate that one, to be honest, rather than that. But basically, you, you earn these throughout uh, your My Career shit, and you can put it on. That helps your takeover as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. That's basically the build, guys. Um, as you can see here, I'm Jake from State Farm. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys like this build, or even if you have a different build, let me know down in the comments below what your build's like, looking like, how it plays for you. And um, yeah, if you, like I said, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now that we had 150 subs, our goal is 100, or 100, our goal is 200. Pretty big milestone there. So like I said, if you guys are new, make sure to smash that sub button, hit the bell so you guys never miss a video. And um, be, expect a My Team video sometime later in the week, um, most likely Thursday. I'll try and get it out if possible. But um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.